Hi, I'm Jason. This is Lori. We're from ATC RV. We're going to demonstrate today how to move our partition wall. You say move partition wall. That's a brand new feature for our 2021 models. This happens to be on the 4528 fifth wheel. And what's great about our partition wall, it's like having three floor plans in one. What I mean by that is right now this partition wall is located in the front position. And what it does is it gives you a large garage area, large enough to fit a four seat side by side or even a full size vehicle. If you don't have a large toy, just have a golf cart or some bicycles, you can take this partition wall and you can move it to the rear position and it gives you four more feet uh, in your living quarters area. Or if you don't have a toy at all or you just like a wide open space, you can, it is totally removable and it makes for a wonderful floor plan. But Lori and I are going to demonstrate how to move this and you do not have to be mechanically inclined to move it. It is fairly simple. You only need one tool. What we supply is this Allen wrench and use this Allen wrench. There's a screw in here on both sides of the track. One this side and one on the front position. Both of these have to come out first. So there's four pieces to the wall, the two inner pieces and then the two outer pieces. And what you'll do, they'll kind of go catty quarter from each other. It'll be on one side in the front position, it'll be on the other side in the rear position. And there are these latches in the corners, just on the outer pieces of wall. Those just unhook, they are adjustable latches so you can keep it taut. And Lori's taking out the inner piece. Once both outer pieces and all four pieces are removed of the partition wall, then you have to move the threshold in the floor. And it will, there will be a little notch in the floor. It will be exactly four feet. Once the threshold's back in the floor, you can start with the outer pieces of the wall. An easy way to tell is the seal does always have to go up against the outer wall on these outer pieces. There's a track in the top and then also a track in the bottom. Now the latch, since we flip flopped it, the latches are now on this side. On the inner pieces of the wall, it's just a matter of getting the rollers in the upper track. And then once you get in far enough, there's also a track at the bottom. You'll want to get that started before you get the second roller in.
Okay, so once all four pieces of the wall are in, we put our piece back into the track. We're done.